One of the things that I just love about science and physics is when it's incorporated in video games. In the Mass Effect series, one of the forms of communication that is pretty standard is quantum entanglement communication, or QEC. Now, of course, this is very sci-fi based, but I thought I was really interested on the principle that it's based on. In the 1930s, Einstein had a really cool proposition. He proposed a scenario where two particles are created in a certain time and space. And these particles have characteristics and properties associated with them. Like one is too sassy and the other one can't stop watching TV. Just kidding, they actually have proper properties. And one of these properties is spin. The point being that if you measured the spin of one particle, that would entail that the other particle had the opposite spin. What made this phenomenon very interesting is that information can't travel faster than light. But if these two particles were miles and miles and miles away from each other and you knew what the spin of one was, then you automatically knew what the spin of the other one was. Decades later, Alan Aspect did prove that this was true. Quantum entanglement to this day plays a very important role in quantum computing and in quantum cryptography. <laughs> and I just love it that Mass Effect used this idea in their video game series. I should add a disclaimer that I don't know a whole lot about quantum physics. I'm an experimental physicist. Part two of video games and physics and how they overlap. In Fallout 4, you can take Radaway or Radex to prevent or take away radiation that uh, you've absorbed or taken in at some point. Now in real life, this doesn't really exist, but there is a tablet that we do take in the event of a nuclear disaster. You might have seen this in the really good HBO TV show Chernobyl. In the event of a nuclear disaster, dangerous isotopes are released into the atmosphere. An isotope of iodine-131 is one of these radioactive particles. This isotope is very radioactive and is very dangerous for your thyroid gland because it will absorb it very, very easily. And it puts you at risk for thyroid cancer. The tablets that these people take is iodine. The idea behind it is that you're saturating your thyroid with excess iodine. This means that it will absorb all the iodine from the tablets and it will be less likely to absorb the radioactive iodine in the environment. It's kind of like an overbooked restaurant. If you just fill up that restaurant with normal stable iodine, it's less likely to let in the radioactive. This in turn reduces the amount of radioactive isotopes that is absorbed by your body and in turn reduces your risk for cancer. It isn't perfect, but I thought this was really cool because it can kind of associate it with the Rad X in, in Fallout 4. If you have any more ideas or interesting topics with video games and physics, let me know heard of chaos theory or maybe you know it as the butterfly effect you might have heard it in jurassic park or perhaps in the video game life is strange but what is the butterfly effect and where did it come from so the butterfly effect talks about chaos theory and chaos theory is based in mathematics and physics and it's a lot more complicated than i can say in a one minute video but the basic idea is that it looks into complex systems that appear disordered or unpredictable but it actually has patterns specifically chaos theory looks into the initial conditions of those systems as it is very sensitive to the initial definitions and therefore the butterfly effect is used to explain this it describes how when a butterfly flaps its wings the molecules around it start to move very very slightly but they do start to move in a certain way this causes a chain reaction in such an unpredictable way that may Maybe it could even cause a tornado in the long run in some other part of the world because the molecules are constantly interacting from one place to the next to the next to the next until it reaches a completely different space and time. It shows how the small changes in the initial situation can have huge outcomes ultimately. This is also why weather is very difficult to predict. I'm from Ireland and it is very unpredictable. One day they'll say it will be sunny and the next it's piss and rain. Basically, it's really hard to determine the outcome of these little events that occur. And that is where the butterfly effect describes the chaos theory. And if you have any more comments about chaos theory, please leave in the comments below, because right now I'm in 20 Wikipedia pages researching and studying it, but the mathematics is getting a little bit hard.